Hi, this is Terry at FireplaceBlowersOnline.com. Today we're going to demonstrate how to install a GFK4 fan or blower kit. We're going to install it in a basically a generic cutaway of an insert. Yours is going to look similar to this, except you're going to have all the obstacles to avoid down here, your, your gas lines, control valves. So, this is what comes with the GFK4 kit. You get the blower, you get the temperature sensor on a bracket with a magnet, your variable speed control, it's all wire harnessed together for you. You are going to have to make two easy connections and that is a black and white, your power cord, you're going to connect the leads to the two terminals on the motor. You can connect either terminal to either tab on the motor. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to, these are slip on connections. And as a reminder, there is a label on the kit that says connect these leads to the motor before you start. We're not plugging it in yet, but we're just making sure our power cord is connected to the blower. Um, since we don't have any of these obstacles in place, I would suggest that before you do anything else is you kind of figure out how you're going to get this to the back wall and do a dry run before you remove any of the Velcro strips. So you might end up going in on the left side, you might end up going in on the right side, but in 99.9% .9 of the units that can will accept a GFK4 kit, you'll get it through this lower louver. Once you remove the lower louver. So we're going to just, you're going to get it through, find out how it's going to go in. I can go in this way. I'm going to get it to the back wall and then bring the blower back out. And the mounting mechanism on a GFK4 kit are these self-adhesive Velcro strips. And we've bent these up because it's hard to take them off with one hand when I'm holding that. So you're going to remove these four self-adhesive Velcro strips. We know which way we're going to put the blower in. And I've got to hold this so I don't pull something else off. Okay, so now these are real sticky so you just have to be careful when you're handling it. And I also wanted to let you know, since these are self-adhesive down here, it would pay to wipe the fireplace out and have it clean so it's not all full of dust before you install it. So, this is our air discharge, this rectangular opening. This is where the air is going to come out of. And we want that facing straight up so we're blowing air up the back of our fireplace. So, I am going to get the blower. I'm bypassing all the crud that's down here. I can get it. We want to get it to the back wall, center it, and we just want to now press it into place. I've got, um, I've made connections on the back wall and on the floor. Our blower is now installed. The next thing you're going to have to do is this is the temperature sensor right here. It's on a bracket with a magnet. We're going to let this adhere to the bottom of the firebox. When that sensor reaches 120 degrees after you have a fire started, the blowers will turn on. Note, when you first um, install it and you think the blower is going to go on, it's not. That sensor has to heat up to 120 degrees, then the blower is going to go on. The other item that you're going to have is your variable speed control. That typically, unless you have a place for this to protrude out the front, is just going to stay in the bottom down here. And we have a self-adhesive pad. You can remove that. I'm not going to do that for the demonstration purposes, but that's going to stay here. Um, we've got everything in place, so what we do is we're going to now plug the blower in. We're ready to go. And for this purpose, I've got an extension cord that we're going to use for power. We're plugged in. We've got power to the blower, but you're going to see nothing is happening. 
And since I can't light this, I'm going to demonstrate, I'm going to put some heat onto our temperature sensor. And so I'm just got a little torch here. Okay, that was enough now that we've got our blower running. I'm going to let this go back up on top where it goes. On our variable speed control, it's going to start. It's an on off variable speed control. Counterclockwise is off. It's back on, and we start at high, and then we can adjust the fan speed. So we can dial this down where that wheel is barely turning or up to 3,000 RPMs a minute, which is going to produce roughly 130 CFM of airflow. Now you can see our temperature sensor cooled off. It turned the blower off. I'm going to throw some more heat back on here again so we can see what kind of airflow that we're getting out of here. So I'm just going to put some heat back on here. The blower is again back on. And we've just hung some tissue up here just to give you an idea that this is the airflow and not all fireplaces are going to have the same amount of airflow. But you can see there's air current now heated that's going to be entering the, the room where the fireplace is at. The fireplace blower works by blowing air up the back wall. It gets heated as your fireplace is on and your insert is actually up here is, is about 500 degrees. So the air is heated quickly, exits your top vent and into your room and that's the benefit of having a blower for your fireplace. If you have any questions, give us a call at 262-989-4882. Thank you.